In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Your spirit. Good morning and welcome. Uh, we're going to hear... Um, we hear some inspiring words from St. Paul in today's second reading. He says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. We all need words of hope and encouragement, and St. Paul gives us to them. So as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, who alone of the Lord, who alone of the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippines. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance, in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in, a, in accord with his glorious riches in Jesus Christ. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Christ, enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fatted cat and cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, the feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Why don't I hear all of us say that? I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Unbelievable, unbelievable 
Another way of saying that is nothing is impossible with God. It's all about Jesus Christ. St. Paul has, as he said, he's been well fed and he's also experienced hunger. He's, he experienced um, um, imprisonment. Actually, when he wrote this uh, letter, it's his letter of joy, he was writing in prison. He was, you know, chained. And yet he said, rejoice in the Lord always, rejoice in the Lord. We need words of hope and encouragement. That's what St. Paul gives us. All of us do. I mean, we're living in, in crazy times. Um, I love the Romans 8. Uh, St. Paul also says, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? He continues, no, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor present things nor future things nor powers nor height nor depth nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's a pretty amazing statement. What it's speaking about is the all-consuming love of this God that created this beautiful world that we live in. The God that created the, the hummingbirds, the, the monarch butterflies, the osprey, and yes, the skunk that I encountered the other morning. But um, God created all of it. God created all of it. And he said it was good. And he created the human person and said it was very good. And to prove his love for us, he accepted the most cruel form of rejection. He was rejected by his own people and died a very painful death on the cross. And on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. So he proved his love for us in so, so many ways. One person who, um, um, who found her strength in Christ was St. Teresa of Avila. Usually we, you know, we, don't, um, we don't celebrate the feast day of saints on Sunday because it's, um, we just don't. Um, but today is October 15th, it's her, it would be her feast day. And there were a number of wonderful poems and prayers that she wrote that I want to share with you. Um, but the one thing that um, I love about her is she, you know, she went into the convent at a young age, but she, in her autobiography, admits she was living a pretty mediocre life. She was, she was content to, to get involved in gossip and was very involved in worldly affairs. But then she had a mystical experience with Jesus, Jesus crucified, and it changed her whole perspective. Um, she, she was a Carmelite, and so she began to reform the order, and she encountered a lot of opposition, opposition from her own nuns. St. John of the Cross was doing the same thing with the men. You know, they imprisoned him. He wrote The Dark Night of the Soul. Um, but she was also, after she died, um, canonized very quickly, and they named her a doctor of the church. She, she, along with Catherine of Siena, was named the first doctor of the church. So she's someone to get to know. But the story that I love is she was riding a donkey, visiting a, one of the new monasteries um, that they were establishing, and she fell off. The, I guess the donkey, I don't know. Um, anyway, she fell off, splashed in the water, and she heard a voice. It was the Lord saying, this is how I treat my friends. Without blinking an eye, she said, well, then no wonder there's so few. Um, very human, very human. One of her, um, after she died, they found a, a bookmark at a prayer that she used to 
to love to pray. Um, and the prayer says, let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Whoever has God lacks nothing. God alone suffices. She also famously wrote, Christ has no body but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes with which he looks, compassion on this world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands with which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands, yours are the feet, yours are the eyes, you are his body. Christ has no body now but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. It's beautiful. And that's what we speak about all the time here at Christ the King. We're called to be the hands, the feet, the eyes and the ears of Jesus to our brothers and sisters. That's why we need all of us. You know, Father Joe and I, we can only have individual contact with a certain amount of people. We need you to go out into the workforce, to into your homes, um, with your friends, and radiate the love of, of Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about. You know what? Right before the beginning of World Youth Day, Pope um, Francis said, all are welcome, all are welcome, totos. And he stressed that over and over again, that all are welcome to this wonderful feast. You know, we hear in today's first reading um, about a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food, and pure choice wines. Well, the Mass is, is heaven on earth. What a privilege it is for you and I to, to be here today. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, I told you I've celebrated Mass on the banks of the Salmon River in Plasky, New York with some friends. That was interesting. <laughs> a friend of mine, you know, was going to invite people to, to come join us, other fishermen and fisherwomen. First, they didn't come. And then he said, well, you know, it's Sunday. You're supposed to go to mass. The guilt worked. Um, I turned around and there were 30 people. And I had hosts for everyone. But all are welcome to this wonderful feast. Christ keeps giving. His heart keeps pouring out in love. This is where St. Paul found his strength. This is where Teresa of Avila found her strength, and this is where you and I will find our strength. The Eucharist, God's greatest gift, the gift of finest wheat. So yes, nothing is impossible with God. Let's say loudly again, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. Of the Holy Spirit, 
was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on a Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. In the first reading, the prophet Isaiah spoke of a world free of hunger and filled with God's peace. Let us offer our prayers for those in need of God's abiding presence. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons may imitate the Son of Man in leading the people of God to the gospel of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all church leaders will minister to the people of God in generosity and self-sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we learn to depend on God to supply for all our needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are lonely, sick, and suffering, may God shower them with his love and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those recovering from fires, hurricanes, and other natural disasters may experience generous hearts, strong backs, and abundant prayer support during this long and difficult time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may be purified of sin and welcomed into the glory of heaven. We pray for those who have recently died. Arthur Myers, Rick Colangeli, and especially for Deacon Joseph Raid, for whom this 10.30 a.m. Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace. We pray for peace in the Middle East. Uh, pray uh, for those innocent people that have lost their lives. Pray uh, for an end to the suffering and for peaceful, re peaceful resolution to, to conflict also in Ukraine and Russia and other parts of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life, hear the prayers of your people, voiced in the name of Jesus Christ, your son, who is Lord forever and ever.
sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. By his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. 
For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, with all the clergy, the religious, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Teresa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
this bread to from the Father, eat this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry, eat this bread. this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry, eat this bread, drink 
For those watching at home will make an act of spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Ever permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And together we'll pray the St. Michael prayer for the safety of people throughout the world. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. We are protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits all about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Just one quick announcement. The um, parish finance report is by the, the stands with all the missile, well, not the missile, the, bu of the bulletins this weekend. There's a letter thanking you on the one side, and the other side is all the ins and outs, when the money came in, where the money went out to. So please take one, and if you have any questions, just give a call. And also, um, if you wonder, you know, we don't pass the basket here. We stopped doing that at, um, when the COVID started. And people kind of like not having a basket kind of put in their face week after week. So they're out in the North X. Uh, we still need your money. But you know, try to make it a little easier for you to put it in. Um, but you know, you'll see that you know, we've been able to carry on getting through all the, the difficult times, all because of you and your generosity. Thank you very much. And um, just remember where you can you know, add to the collection anytime that you want to. But um, you know, you're, you're in our prayers, and um, we couldn't do this. The parish wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of your support. And um, look at the support now with the, the youth choir. They, they've just started again, and I think they deserve a great hand. <laughs> and I know he doesn't like to hear this, but we have to thank Bill too. You know, it's easy to thank him, because he's, he's right there with the youth choir, the adult choir, you know, the music we have here is really wonderful. And it, it certainly is, a, you know, another reason to come and worship here at Christ the King, because everybody's really involved in it. And thank you again, Bill. <laughs> and thank you. One other little thing, Father Joe and I will be leaving for, for 12 days. We're going to uh, Florence. The only problem is I only know two Italian words, buongiorno and cappuccino. Uh, but uh, we'll be praying for you and pray for us for safe travels. And let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray. Whoops. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. <laughs>